check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Hello there, everyone! The focus of our lesson today is about literature as a mirror to a shared heritage of people with diverse background. Our target most essential learning competency for this video is Analyze literature as a mirror to a shared heritage of people with diverse background. Tara! Let's know more about literature by watching this. Let's define the following keywords. What is the meaning of the word heritage? Heritage is something that is handed down from the past. O sa Filipino, ito ay pamana. Halimbawa nito ay kultura at tradisyon. Diverse background. Diverse is an adjective that means distinctly dissimilar or unlike. It also means many and different. If a group or range of things is diverse, it is made up of a wide variety of things. Kaya kapag sinabing diverse background, ang ibig sabihin ay ang pagkakaroon ng iba't ibang paniniwala tradisyon, pamumuhay, at iba pa, dahil sa iba't ibang uri ng tao base sa kinamulatan o pinagmulan. Ang panghuli, what is the meaning of the word literature? Literature, in its broadest sense, is any written work of a language, period, or culture. Derived from the Latin litera, which means a letter of the alphabet. Literature is the artistic expression of thought which is complete with feelings and imagination. It is expressed in such a non-technical form as to make it understandable and give aesthetic pleasure and relief to the mind of the common man. According to Lord Morley, literature consists of all the books where moral truth and human passion are touched with a certain largeness, sanity, and attraction of forms enables us to look at nature with new eyes. It interprets with charm of language the experiences and spiritual intuitions of man. Literature has close connection with life. The subject matter of literature is the presentation of life. Life provides the raw material by which literature interfaces an artistic pleasure, pattern, and form. Literature is the mirror of human life. So, literature is one of the human's way to express. It is a way of expressing the writer's thoughts and feelings, at the same time, an avenue for them to share their culture and tradition to other people. Halimbawa, paano mo malalaman ang kaibahan ng kultura ng mga Pilipino sa kultura ng dayuhang bansa, kagaya ng kultura ng Japan, nang hindi mo kailangang pumunta o tumira sa lugar na iyon. Hindi ba isa sa paraan ay ang pagbabasa ng mga babasahin tungkol dito? It can be an essay, a poem, or a novel. It could probably be about a life story of a person who is a Japanese or a foreigner who lived there. It can be fiction or non-fiction, or it can be in any types or form. So this means we could go to different places and meet and know a lot of different people from different races without actually going somewhere, only by literature because it is a reflection of human life. Isa pa rin halimbawa, keeping and writing a diary is one way of sharing who you are, your thoughts, your feelings, your dreams, and your experiences to people. One example of this written work is, the Diary of a Young Girl, also known as The Diary of Anne Frank. It is a journal by Anne Frank, a Jewish teenager who recorded her family's two years in hiding 
during the German occupation of the Netherlands during World War II. The book was first published in 1947, two years after Anne's death in a concentration camp, and later became a classic of war literature. This diary shows the fear, the struggle, and the hopes of a young girl during World War II. Though she died, it teaches many life lessons and still continues to give hope and inspiration to a lot of people who are facing difficulties in life. So, through literature, the amount of knowledge and new learnings that we can get is limitless. Now, let us talk about the three primary forms of literature, and these are the following. First, poetry. Poetry is the most intense form of writing. It allows a writer to express his or her deepest emotions and thoughts in a very personal way. It relies heavily on figurative language, rhythm, and imagery to relay its message to readers. The primary subgenres of poetry are songs and ballads, lyric, epic, dramatic, narrative. Next, we have prose. Prose is the most common form of writing. It is not restricted by rhythm or dialogue, and it most closely resembles everyday speech. It is usually straightforward and may utilize figurative language, dialogue, characters, and imagery. O sa Filipino, ang tawag dito ay tuluyan. Prose writing is often divided into two primary categories. Fiction Fiction is narrative writing that originates from the author's imagination. It is designed to entertain, but it can also inspire, inform, or persuade. Primary subgenres of fiction Novel Novella Short story Myths and legends Fables Nonfiction. Nonfiction is writing that is based on true events, people, places, and facts. It is designed to inform and sometimes to entertain. Primary subgenres of nonfiction: autobiography, biography, essay, diaries and journals, narrative nonfiction, and lastly, drama. Drama is a literary work written to be performed in front of an audience. It contains dialogue and actors impersonate the characters. It is usually divided into acts or scenes and relies on props or imaginative dialogue to create a visual experience for the audience. Primary subgenres of drama Tragedy Comedy History Melodrama Musical why is literature important? These are 10 reasons. Number 1. Literature is a powerful stress reliever. It's no secret to readers that literature can relieve stress and anxiety. Ang ilang sandali o oras ng pagbabasa ay nakatutulong daw para sa pagpapakalma ng pagod na isipan. Studies show it can slow down a rapid heartbeat which is a common sign of anxiety, and take a reader's mind off of racing thoughts. Ayon sa pag-aaral noong 2009, napag-alaman na ang pagbabasa sa loob lamang ng alim na minuto ay nakababawas ng stress hanggang 68% na nagpapakita na reading is a better way to handle stress than listening to music or walking. Number 2. Literature Fuels Imagination According to the World Literacy Foundation, reading is one of the best ways to develop a strong imagination. While there's very little mental work involved in watching a movie, reading words off a page requires readers to create the scene in their mind. This exercise strengthens the imaginative parts of the brain, encouraging creativity and innovation. Kaya naman, Mas marami ang nagsasabi na mas magandang basahin ang isang kwento lalo na kung ito ay fiction kesa kung mapapanood ito sa pelikula. Dahil sa pagbabasa, 
limitless ang ating imagination. Samantalang, kapag ito ay inadap na sa pelikula, meron na itong limitasyon kagaya sa mga special effects na kailangan sa kwento. Number 3. Reading literature improves concentration and focus. Nakatutulong daw ito sa ating konsentrasyon. If a person struggles with a short attention span, reading can help improve that function. There's less to work with, only words, so the brain works harder. As a book becomes more complex or challenging, the need for focus increases. The more a reader engages with literature, the more their focus grows. Number 4. Reading literature keeps the brain active and healthy. Kailangan din ng utak natin ang exercise. Stretching the imagination and improving concentration are both forms of mental stimulation. The brain is a muscle and by taking the time to exercise it, a person keeps it active and healthy. Ayon sa pag-aaral, maaaring maiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng brain conditions like Alzheimer's and dementia kung may regular na mental stimulation ang ating mga isipan. Number 5. Literature expands a person's vocabulary. Literature, unlike magazines or books meant for light reading, often contain challenging vocabulary. Older books, in particular, might contain language that's unfamiliar to many readers. By engaging with a variety of literature, a person broadens their knowledge of new words and phrases. Sa pagbabasa ng literature, madami kang mga bago at malalalim na salitang matututunan. For those learning a new language, literature is one of the best ways to improve their skills. Number 6. Reading literature improves a person's writing skills. If someone wants to improve their writing, they should read more. Mahahasa daw ang kahusayan mo sa pagsusulat kung mahilig ka na magbasa. Nearly all successful authors sing the praises of reading when it comes to mastering their craft. Reading literature not only fuels the imagination and expands vocabulary, it also offers a guide on different styles, idea organization, character development, and more. Number 7. Literature improves a person's communication skills. When a reader improves their writing through reading, they're enriching their overall communication skills. This extends beyond writing into regular conversations and interactions. Good communication is key in every area of life whether it's in career or relationships. Exposure to literature at a young age allows people to develop strong communication. Adults can improve their abilities with more reading. Number 8. Literature encourages critical thinking. Critical thinking is essential for life. It allows people to work through problems and determine what's true. Reading literature provides the perfect opportunity for building critical thinking skills. A reader has to pick up on details, make connections, and form their own opinions on what's going on in the book. Natutulungan tayo na matutong mag-isip ng mabuti at malalim. Mag-analisa ng mga pangyayari at ng mga karakter ng tao. Teachers frequently use literature to help their students develop strong critical thinking. It helps them understand the material better and gives them tools to use in their future careers. Number 9. Literature teaches readers about history. They say, if we don't learn about history, we're doomed to repeat it. Through the lens of literature, a reader can uniquely engage with history. It's much more interesting than studying a timeline or memorizing facts. Even if the book is fictional and doesn't focus on a specific event, a reader is exposed to perspectives from the time of the text creation. Works of literature from ancient China will reveal different truths than books from the 19th century England. Bumalik tayo sa diary ni Anne Frank. Sa diary niya, masisilip natin kung ano ba yung mga pangyayari noong World War II sa mga kamay ni Adolf Hitler. Dito, 
hindi mo kailangang magbasa ng history books if you find it boring. You just have to read literature like this and it will automatically lead you to learning history through the eyes of the character and the story that he or she is narrating. Number 10. Reading literature can encourage empathy. Every society needs empathy o sa Tagalog ay ang pakikipagdamayan. Research has indicated that reading literature can fuel feelings of empathy in a reader. Literary fiction is especially effective at encouraging empathy. Why? It requires a reader to get inside the mind of more complex characters. Sa pagbabasa ng iba't ibang kwento na sumasalimin sa ating buhay, natututunan natin kung ano ang iniisip at nararamdaman ng karakter sa isang istorya. Nagagawa nating ilagay ang sarili natin sa sitwasyon ng iba na nagreresulta sa pagkakaroon natin ng mas malawak na pangunawa sa ating kapwa. Kaya naman, ang literature ay hindi lang basta nagpapakita ng iba't ibang kultura at tradisyon ng mga tao mula sa iba't ibang lugar. Nagpapakita din ito ng kasaysayan na magbibigay ng karunungan sa atin para maunawaan ang pinanggagalingan ng mga bagay-bagay sa kasalukuyan at mapag-aralan kung paano haharapin o sosolusyonan ang maaaring maging problema sa hinaharap. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!